What's up YouTube? It's Mark again. Welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today I'm doing something pretty exciting. I'm going to a completely new piece of public land I've never been to before. Um, aside from one scouting mission, me and Danny went out there, put out some cameras, and unfortunately because of Hurricane Ian, uh, we had another quota area planned for this weekend, but that one's still closed. This one's open, so um, I decided to come up here and hunt it because we got to get our cameras out anyway. We've got some really nice bucks on camera, and uh, there's just something about exploring new areas that gets me excited. So I'm going to sneak out there and uh, pick out a tree, get up there, and I'll show you guys where I'm set up in a little bit. Um, and in the meantime, if you want to get some of this sweet camo that I'm wearing, go check out our merch store. It's uh, uh, swampandstompllc.com. You can get this stuff right here. Um, so go check it out and uh, enjoy the intro video. Holy crap, that moon looks crazy. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. set up I'm not really sure about where I'm set up all I know is Danny has a cell camera somewhere around here it, it should be within I don't know 40 yards of me but I can't I can't spot it um, been some really good bucks and does uh, coming through here. A couple scrub bucks too, but you know what? We don't discriminate here. If he's legal, he's catching an arrow. In case y'all hadn't figured it out yet, Swamp and Stomp is a meat hunting channel. Got one buck down. Danny smoked a doe last night, or I guess yesterday afternoon. And, um, I killed a hog earlier this season, so usually, uh, if I get three kills a season, I can get by for the year. I don't buy meat, so it's pretty important for me to, uh, to get my, my three kills a year, so really, uh, trying to stick anything that's legal. I'm, uh, sitting on the edge of, like, a a creek bottom and it's all oaks back in there um, I can't really see that far in there I, I'd like to be maybe a little bit closer to that but honestly my winds blowing that way so um, I'd rather sit a little further away and, and not have my scent just stinking up the whole creek bottom this is more of an observation sit um, like I said I can see for a mile and pretty much any time that we go to a new place we like to start with observation sits, you know, just kind of try and get a feel for how the deer are moving, what areas they're using, and um, I'm hoping, hoping I get to see a little bit of movement this morning, so. Gotta love public land. It's like 7.30 in the morning and this guy is just walking in. Guy 
guys. Let's, um, let's be real for a second. I know it's public land. I know we all own it. We all get to hunt it. And none of us get to tell each other how we get to use it. I get that. But, like, can we have some common courtesy? Like, this guy just came walking in in the middle of prime time, heard me whistle at him three times, clearly indicating he's heading in my direction. And so he kind of knows where I am, and what's he going to do? He's walking straight into the oak hammock that I'm sitting right next to. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's going to set up like within sight I can't see him right now but it's like come on like just if you're walking in somewhere especially if you're walking in late just if you hear somebody or somebody like shines their light at you or something turn around and just go find another spot like what the heck it's ridiculous this is literally the slowest that anybody has ever used a climber. Ever. It's, uh, it's about 11, 15 right now. And, uh, my little friend over there has finally decided to get down. Oh, I didn't see anything this morning. But the moon phase still suggests they should be moving right now. And, um, <clears throat> even though I'm not really feeling it, I told myself I was going to stay in the tree until 11.30. So, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get down, check a couple cameras, and, um, make a decision on where I want to hunt the afternoon. whispering because it's windy it's like two o'clock so it's gonna be a really long set but the thing is they're kind of moving midday right now and uh, I don't want to miss a thing and I don't want to miss a thing anyway um, so check the cameras and what I found was of the two spots I was really excited about. One of them, there's three people hunting there, and one of them killed a doe this morning. There is a good eight point over there, not a giant, but you know, a good buck. But uh, I don't feel like piling in with them, so I came to check this other one, and um, this one's got some bucks. Let's see, uh, there's a uh, a nice tall eight that was here last night at like 7.45. Hopefully, he comes back. Um, there's a small basket rack eight point, which I would absolutely smoke. There's a little fork that I is not legal. There might be a spike. It might be the same fork. I'm not sure. Um, then... There's like a big, gnarly, I don't even know how many points. I want to say it's nine or ten, but it's kind of hard to tell. But he's got a lot of mass. He's pretty wide. Um, anyway, there's there's a few bucks worth shooting at. I'll try and put pictures of them up here. <laughs> Excuse me. So, anyway, the spot that I'm set up on is actually kind of ridiculous. Um set up like literally right on the side of the road like literally 
like on the road. Um, but there's like an old trail that runs along the side of the road here. And the deer have been walking that trail. But the thing is, that trail also has a bunch of game trails coming off of it that head out. And as much as I really want to just go out there and set up on like, looks like there's like a little oak island. There's a bunch of features out there. I think they're using those, but I don't want to go out there and then find out that these deer are actually just walking right along this trail and then my wind's blowing right at them. So I decided to play it safe. Sitting downwind of this trail, I can see a long ways. So hopefully I'll kind of figure out where they're hanging out and if they are hanging out further in there, then I'll make a move for tomorrow morning and go set up in there. That's the game plan right now. What's up guys? I guess it's about time for me to give you an update. So, um, yesterday was rough. There's a lot of deer in this place. I got some really good stuff on camera, but um, I didn't see anything until the very last 15 minutes of the day. Um, I saw a deer, I don't know, it was like three, 400 yards away. So, I don't even know what it was. Anyway, I haven't moved, I stayed in the same spot. I'm gonna get back up there this morning. Um, it really just seems like a good spot. There's been a lot of movement on camera. So uh, I think if I just uh, stay on it, I, I might get to uh, hopefully see something. Um, if I don't see anything by the end of this morning, I'm gonna take a walk around. There's a an oak hammock to the south of where I'm at. And I think that's where this big eight point's coming from. And uh, so I'm going to go see what I can find out about that oak hammock, see if there's any good sign in there. And then I might end up setting up there for the last two sets um, of this weekend. So let's see what happens. It's another beautiful morning here in Florida, and uh, I've got pictures of big bucks, and unfortunately, the one that I'm after um, that's been frequenting this spot, he just showed up about 15 minutes before legal shooting light. He came out right here. 30, 40 yards, it's kind of hard to tell because it was still pretty dark. He's a stud. He came out, he was grunting. He had a doe with him, but he wasn't like hot on her tail, but he was just grunting. I think he's tending that doe. He didn't smell me. And he, uh, he came out of the bushes and then he kind of went down about 50 yards and he turned and went right back into the bushes. Which I'm kind of happy about because I've been suspecting that he's living back in there. And now I know, so I'm going to do a pretty short set this morning. Probably sit till like 9.30, 10 o'clock. And then I'm going to get down and uh, go scout in there. And get in there pretty early and and hunt that for the afternoon hopefully get to see him
Yo, what up? <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited. I, I haven't seen him get up. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's still laying right there. Dude. You know where you hit him? Yeah, I, he was quarter two, but he was like right under me. And I just, I mean, I put it probably probably like right behind the shoulder blade kind of high up but you know it would have gone down and out the bottom so I don't know if I got the other lung I, I think that's probably why he was taking so long to die I mean I'm pretty sure like 
I'm pretty sure I got him good. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I'm pretty sure I smoked him. And then a couple, like maybe a minute later, he got back up again, and was falling over again. And it, you know, he had like the, the tail death wag going on and shit. Like, once that, yeah, like right when they're about to die. Yeah, you've never noticed that? So right when they're about to die, like when they're losing blood, their tail starts wagging like really fast back and forth while it's like pointed straight down and it was doing that so but I'm gonna give it another half hour because it's a fucking beautiful morning so whatever just got down out of my tree right there let's check out this arrow hmm well, that's not what I was expecting at all. I'm pretty certain that I smoked that buck. But I guess it was quartered, so... Maybe I hit a little far back, because that is definitely guts. That's a dead deer right there, guys. All right, y'all. So I tried to get that buck onto the bike, but he's so heavy, I couldn't do it. So uh, I got a buddy of a buddy heading over with a game cart. I'm going to ride back to the uh, parking lot. What's up, Rue? You want to plug your business real quick? There it is. Steel's quality wild game processing. <laughs> so if you guys are in Central Florida and you need some processing done, this is the man. But he's usually full, so you better... Call ahead. Yeah, call ahead. <laughs> Good dog. Well, how are we supposed to read it when it's all the way up there? What do you got? 168.6. Woo! It's a big buck. Within 10 what? pounds of your guess. What? I told me you thought it was 160. I thought it was 160. Exit. Entry. Is that that? Right through the middle of the line. Here, show it again. Right here. Okay. So, right through the middle of the line. And then, should we turn the air compressor off? Maddie, go away! Yeah, I don't know if I got the other one. Oh, yeah, I did. So, I went through here, through. Just the back part of this one, I guess. Right there. Yeah, so I didn't get a lot of that one. In fact, it just kind of like zipped through the back corner of this one. You can see it. Uh, can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's what it did to the back one. That's why it took a little bit longer to dive. It was still able to kind of breathe a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, here's the buck right here. And we're over here uh, with Adam Steele. We are about to break this down and do a full video on how to best do that. Uh, so if y'all want to watch that, there's going to be a link somewhere up there. Or you could just search for it because I might forget to put a link up there. But anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace.